What is going on, Lead Gen Beast? Matty Ice here, Leads for Locals. Got a really cool video for you today. Just going through uh, yet another awesome thing that we could do with Go High Level. And today we're talking about lead distribution. So if you have a sales team or maybe your clients have sales teams, uh, multiple team members that do outbound calls, appointment setting, things like that, and you just want to distribute all of the leads that you're generating through, uh, to all of these individual team members automatically, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So make sure you stick to the end. I'm going to show you step by step how to create this workflow. It's actually pretty easy. So uh, my only ask, as usual, guys, is if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Really does help. Subscribe. Check out all the links in the description because I always have a really good additional training for you guys there, including an entire Go High Level playlist showing you just some awesome things you can do with Go High Level uh, to help you grow your business. Uh, and of course, if you don't have Go High Level, please go through my affiliate link. Really does help support the channel. You guys are awesome. Let's rock and roll. The first thing that I want to talk about is adding team members and what you like some of the permissions that you need to turn on or off, just depending on what you want your team members to have access to. But um, we want to make sure too that your sales team members or whoever you're doing this for only has access to the contacts that they are assigned to, um, unless you don't want it that way. But that's usually how uh, we set this up. So we're going to go down to settings on the bottom left here. We're going to click on my staff. And up here at the top right, click on add employee user info. You're going to type in their name, email, definitely put a phone number so that when they log in, they can have the login code uh, sent to them via text versus the email. I just, I've had issues with the email, you know, like going to spam and stuff in the past. So add a phone number if you can, give them a, you know, quick, simple password, nothing crazy. All right. <clears throat> Here's where the permissions are, uh, where it says only assigned data. Now you don't have to do this, but usually uh, when running a sales team, People like like my clients will typically only want their sales team members to have access to their specific contacts. So when they go into the contacts tab or the opportunities tab to manage their pipeline, um, you have all of your leads being sent to one sub account, but they can only see the, the contacts and leads that have been assigned to them. It's really powerful. Saves you a lot of time too versus having to create a separate sub account for every single team member potentially. This allows you to have one sub account, send all of your leads into that sub account and assign the data out or the, uh, the contacts and leads out to your individual team members. And they'll only see their specific leads. So just keep this in mind. I would definitely turn this on, turn off things like, you know, workflows and websites and funnels. Maybe you don't want them to have access to that stuff. They don't really need it uh, usually. So, you know, turn off what you don't want them to have access to. The user role is gonna be, I usually just do user and you're good to go. Then they can go to gohighlevel.com, actually log in with their email and the password that you set here. So really cool. Uh, of course, you can also create teams. It's not really gonna impact this, but uh, if you wanna create different teams, you can. Let's get into the actual workflow itself. So let's go to automation. Up here at the top right, we're gonna click create workflow, start from scratch and then create new workflow. All right, now your triggers, it's just gonna depend on how you're doing your marketing. So I use a lot of Facebook lead forms, for example. I, I do use a lot of actual Go High Level forms that I've built inside of Go High Level as well. So, you, and you can have multiple triggers here. So I'll just, I'll type in Facebook lead form for now. Whatever trigger you wanna use, all right, select the form or the survey that you're using. All right, save trigger, cool. Now let's click the plus sign to add your actions. You're gonna want your standard actions like adding tags, definitely gonna want the uh, create update opportunity. This is what's gonna put the, the, the new leads into your pipeline and what stage you want them to go to. So that way uh, your sales team can, you know, keep track of where the leads are at and, and manage them, et cetera. So we definitely wanna put them into the pipeline. And uh, I usually put status as open and then turn this one on, save action, all right? So that will be the update opportunity. You know, obviously send your follow-up emails and text messages, maybe voice drops, whatever. But to assign, start uh, assigning leads um, to your sales team. So let's type in, so we click the plus sign. We'll type in, uh, start typing in assign here, uh, assign to user. Let's click that. All right, this is the action we want. And you wanna select all the users that you wanna distribute leads out to. All right, save action. Whoop, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, and, and you can split the traffic. This is really cool. So you can distribute your leads evenly or equally to all of your sales team members, or let's say you have team members that maybe have a little bit more experience or they have a better close rate and you want to send more leads to them, then you can actually uh, choose unevenly here. And then uh, they call it traffic weightage. It's an interesting word, but uh, let's say, you know, this team member is more experienced. So you want to send 
three leads to this person versus every one lead to this other team member, right? That's basically how this works. So you can do it either way. And I would say to turn on only apply to unassigned contacts. That way, if there are contacts that are currently assigned to specific team members, and let's say those contacts respond to some other marketing that you're doing, we don't want them, I mean, unless you want to, um, but typically you don't want them reassigned to a new team member. So I usually only do this for unassigned contacts, that which would be the new leads that are coming in from your marketing because uh, they're not assigned yet. They're brand new leads, right? So you would save action and uh, up here at the top right, publish, click save. You're pretty much good to go at that point. Give it a name. And then what will happen is when your team members log in and they go to the opportunities tab here, um, even though you have all of your leads funneling into one sub account and, and one pipeline, then uh, but th they're only going to see the leads that they have been assigned via the automation that we just put in place. So I hope that makes sense. Hopefully you can see how powerful that is, especially if you do have a sales team or your clients do. This can be an awesome, awesome automation and workflow to put together uh, to make sure that all of your team members are being assigned leads very easily. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's not a really complicated workflow. Uh, let's see, we did that. In about six minutes. So not too bad. So get that up and running. If you guys have any questions or you want me to dive into detail anymore, request for certain videos, whatever, drop a comment down below. Would also just love to hear your feedback. Uh, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys are crushing it. And I will see you in the next one. Matty Ice is out. Peace.